the EU. They've announced a new package of sanctions against the Russians, and I'll try and break this down um, in several parts, because they, the sanctions come in several parts. They will ban Russians from buying homes and property within the, within the EU. And when I read this at first, I was like, wait, you have to be kidding, right? They're not kidding. So if you, if you are a Russian citizen, you are not allowed to buy any property anymore in the EU. The only people who are exempt from this are uh, Russians that are dual citizens. So you're a Russian citizen and you're a citizen of an EU member state. Or you're only a Russian citizen and you have a residency in an EU member state. But I've never heard of that before. I, I'm maybe correct, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I don't remember them doing that with Syrians or Iranians or other, you know, official enemies that just by virtue of having a nationality, you are banned from buying property. Wow. Now that coming from capitalists is really something like we, we don't want your money anymore. What? <laughs> Obviously, there's something to do with that. Now, the way they're going to market this to you, what they're going to tell you in the media is, oh, this is going to punish the Russian oligarchs, and this is going to cause bad blood between Putin and his inner circle and his oligarchs, and they're going to feud, and it's going to be very good for us. This is rubbish. This is Russophobia. If, if you took this sentence right here, where it says, Russians will be banned from buying homes and other property within the EU, just substitute Russians for any other nationality or you could say a, a, a religion or ethnic group, a religious or ethnic group. And w would you not find that sentence disgusting and racist and xenophobic? You would, right? Imagine it said Americans will be banned from buying homes and other property. People would lose it. Americans would lose it. They'd say this is discrimination. This is unfair. It is. It is unfair. And if that happened to Americans, we'd say it's unfair because it is. But the fact that people have, they accept this, like they, they are... They are saying this out loud. They have no shame. They say this like it's something normal. Like, like, yeah, of course, Russians are banned from buying property. What? What? I ima imagine that said something else instead of Russians. Just p pick whatever nationality or religious group or ethnic group and, and think how absurd that sentence would sound. This is crazy. This is really crazy. I, I am stunned uh, by this, this open, uh, brazen, callous, shameless uh, uh, xenophobia and, and hatred of all things Russian, Russian music, Russian tennis players, Russian nationals. What the hell is wrong with you? It, every, if everything you're saying about the Russians is true, that they are, you know, a, a, it's a dictatorship and Putin is the worst and they, they don't understand Western values. And, oh, let's pretend all of this is true, right? You are basically being just as bad, if not worse, right? Like giving, giving you the benefit of the doubt, if everything you say about the Russians is true, this is just as bad, if not worse. How, how are you any better when you, when you behave like this? Straight up discrimination. And I really think it's worrying that you have uh, this sort of, uh, 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 this contempt, this, this open contempt uh, in, in public. Like, it's, it's totally normal to say these things now. Wow. Wow. Um, this is interesting. Look at the next sen sentence. It's a patriarch Kirill, who's the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, was named in the sanctions plan. They're even after go they're even going after the patriarch, man. Amazing. Amazing. Right? There's no shame anymore.